Let's suppose that we have 1,200 fish in a lake. Unrestrained, the fish population grows at 24% per year. However, our lake only has the food and resources to support 2,000 fish. How many fish will the lake have after three years? Okay, the first thing that we need to do, of course, is to identify which type of growth model we're looking at. This um, does have a percentage value listed here. So there is a percentage growth rate. However, that growth rate is only when it's unrestrained and our lake only can support 2,000 fish. So it can't grow forever. It's gonna start tailoring down here and leveling off once we get close to 2,000 fish. So that means that this is best described using a logistic growth model. It has a percentage growth but there's an upper limiting factor to what's going on. Um, if you recall from the last video, our formula for logistic growth is P of N is equal to P of N minus one plus R times one minus P of N minus one over K times P of N minus one. Let's identify our different variables here. The percentage rate is our R value, so that's 24%. However, just like any equation, we can't leave our percentages in percentage form. We need to change them to our decimal form. So where we see R in the equation here, we're gonna substitute 0.24. The next important piece of information when we were knowing this was in a logistic equation was this limiting capacity here, that 2000 fish. That is going to be our K value in our formula and it shows up down here. So K is equal to that 2,000, the limiting factor that we have. Now, everywhere else, all we see is P of N minus 1. That means that if I want to find the population after three years, I need to use the population after two years. I need to use the population the year before. Well, I don't know the population in two years. What I do know is I know what I have as a starting population right now. So technically what this is, is it's our P0, it's a starting value, and we have 1,200 fish. So I can't jump right in and answer the question about how many fish the lake's going to have to have after three years. First, I'm going to have to use the information I know to figure out how many fish there are in the lake after one year. All right, so if I'm trying to find year one, I'm looking for P1, and I'm going to put my starting value, the one value that I know. In this case, that's my 1,200 fish plus my rate, 0.24, times 1. Make sure that's a minus there. Then it's P of N minus 1 again. So our previous year's population, that's the 1,200 again, divided by my limiting factor, that K value, which was 2,000. Then we're going to close the parentheses and we're going to times by that previous year's population again and that 1200 shows up again. Notice again from our formula, P of N minus 1 shows up 1, 2, 3 times. So our 1200 here is showing up 1, 2, 3 times. At this point then what we need to do is we need to plug this into our, our calculator. I'm going to be using Desmos here again. Oh, just kidding. Here we go. I'm going to be using Desmos here again. Let's see if we can get that glare out a little bit. There we go. Maybe. All right. So what we're going to put in here is 1,200 plus 0.24. Then open the parentheses. And we're going to do 1 minus. I can either do 1,200 divided by 2,000, or I can use this fraction button and write the 1,200 on top and the 2,000 on the bottom. Oh, missed the two there. Close our parentheses, and then we want to times it by that 1,200 one more time. And in this case, I get 1,315 fish. at the end of year one. Now that I know year one's fish population, I can calculate year two's fish population. So let's see how that works. If I wanna do year two, my formula is the same. 
But this time, every time I see the PN minus one, I'm now gonna use the 1,315. I guess it was a 0.2 instead. So 1,315.2 plus 0.24 times one minus 1,315.2 for the second time over 2,000 times by 1,315.2 for the third time. Again, I've got an equation all nicely written out uh, and I can type that into Desmos. Now, one of the things that I want you to notice here is that I have that 1315.2 answer written right here as my previous answer. This ANS button down here next to the e next to the plus sign says use the previous answer as part of my calculation. So instead of the every time I see the 1200, which was my original population of fish, I now want it to say 1315.2. So I can just hit the ANS button and it's going to copy whatever I had on the previous line. So Desmos is a great way to do these logistic equations because we can just grab that number before three times without having to worry about retyping it incorrectly. So my new population plus 0.24, the unrestrained growth rate, times one minus, we'll hit our little fraction again. This time, my population, I use the year one population of 1,315.2, and I'm gonna divide it by 2,000 because that was the limiting capacity of my lake. I'm gonna close my parentheses. Ah, let's see what's going on here. There we go. Close my parentheses, and then I'm gonna times by that last answer yet one more time. And when I hit my enter button there, I get 1,423.28. Now that I know year two's population, I can now put in year three's population. Or I can find year three's population. As I go through here for year three, every time that I see the 1315.2 from the last equation, I'm now gonna use the 1423.8. So 1423.8, the previous years, plus the rate is still 2 point, or 0.24, times one minus the 1423.8 over the 2000 times by 1423.8 again. And that's gonna get me my fish population in year three. We're gonna pull out Desmos again here. And let's go through, and every time that we have to use that number, we're just gonna hit ANS and it'll pull the 1423 number out for me. So I wanna do that plus 0.24, open my parentheses, times by one minus my last answer, divided by 2,000. And then I want to close my parentheses. Let's see, can you get over there? There we go. Close my parentheses. Oh, that's not doing it quite right. Go over a little bit farther. There it is. Close the parentheses. Sometimes it's tricky on the calculator. It might be a little bit easier on the uh, using the web interface. Times by my last answer again. And now I have 1,521.8. fish by the end of year three. Now, if you notice when we went, if you're looking at kind of how this is growing, at 1,200 fish, I got up to 1,315, so it grew by about 115 fish. When I went up to the next year, it only grew by about 113 fish. And when I went up to the next year, it only grew by about 102 fish. And so as you're going, the closer that you get to 2000, the slower that growth is happening because it's getting closer and closer to the upper limit for food and other resources in the environment.